Hey folks, Will here again with Happily Ever Outdoors. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about what could possibly be the best pair of adventure pants out there. So keep watching. All right guys, so we're gonna be talking about the True Spec 24-7 Expedition Series of Pants. And normally I'm not one to get really excited about a pair of pants and I'm usually not one to spend a lot of money on pants either but I happened to catch these when they were on a really good sale I've had my eyes on them for a while and that right sale popped up and I went ahead and I pulled the trigger and let me tell you I am not disappointed now I'm not gonna waste a bunch of time going over all the technical specs I'll throw those up on the screen as I see them being uh, relevant and I'll also put all the details in the description below but you can find all that stuff on the manufacturers website too uh, the basics these are made from a polyester cotton blend ripstop the primary material and then you've got these panels here which are stretch panels which are made of mostly nylon with a little bit of spandex so you've got the stretch panels here uh, this material in the front which is actually your basically front cargo pocket which has a little stretch to it you've also got stretch panels on the backs of your legs right there so that has some give you've got it in here underneath on your fully gusseted crotch and you've got a panel here on the back as well you can see right there so as you guys might know true spec is primarily known as a manufacturer of tactical pants and these definitely do have a little bit of a tactical feel however this was really as far as i know the first pants that they made that they really specifically were marketing towards the outdoor community so these were designed for hiking bushcrafting longer outdoor trips all that kind of stuff and i actually think that true spec really hit the nail on the head with this one some of the things I really like about it, I love the fit. Now usually tactical pants have a baggier fit to them. That just seems to be the way it goes. But these were a lot slimmer than most of the tactical pants that I've worn before. Which works out great for me because honestly I'm kind of an odd size. I'm a smaller guy so I normally wear like a 32 waist and I can wait, wear down to like a 28 leg. Uh, which you know if you know anything about sizing that's not something that's very easy to find so these are actually a 32 30 and they fit me really really well they're still loose enough where they need to be but you don't have a bunch of extra material uh, which is really great because you know going through the woods hiking and stuff like that too much material is not a good thing that being said even with the slimmer fit they put all of those stretch panels exactly where they need to be. You can see in the back there, that has a little bit of give when you're squatting. Um, you've got it in the front, so if you've got extra stuff in your pockets, they're gonna stretch and give a little bit. You've got it on the back of your legs, so when you're crouching and everything, that material is not gonna get in your way. And you've got, again, that fully gusseted crotch there. You can see that, that huge panel right there, right? Rather than kind of a standard seam like you'd see on blue jeans that goes from front to back, you've got the extra panel there. So there's no seam there. So you can be fully crouched down. You know, maybe I'm trying to make kindling or start a fire, working on something on the ground. You can see, no matter what my position is, I can move around easily, comfortably, fully squatted down, stand up, and I don't have to worry about that pinching or binding up or, you know, worst of all, the seam blowing out on me. Next, let's go from top to bottom and go over kind of all the key features of these pants because there's a lot of them. While these are outdoor pants, they come from a company with a tactical mindset. So there's a whole ton of function built into these. So check it out. All right guys, so starting at the top, I took off my outer shirt and I took off my belt so you guys could see uh, exactly what's going on here. But one of the things I really love, and you get this in their regular 24-7 series as pants, which are kind of more of EDC tactical pants, you've got this really awesome stretch waistband right there. You try to turn to the side so you guys can see that. You see that panel right there that stretches out? And this has a, a decent enough amount of tension on it that you know the pants will they'll kind of pull themselves to where they need to be for your particular waist um, which also gives a little stretch too so depending on your articulation bending things like that it's going to give just a little bit so this in my opinion is like the most comfortable waistband 
I have ever worn and it's better than some pants where you'll see like tactical pants they'll add that like stretchy panel on the side that just bunches up and doesn't look good it kind of messes with your belt this you can see like if I wouldn't have shown you this you probably wouldn't even have realized that it was there all right so I got my belt back on now and you can see that these belt loops are plenty wide enough for your standard like web belts um, if you're a fan of those like I am there's also some cool little features that are added on some details you can see they put these little loops right here at the bottom you can see one there and one there in the front which is big enough that you could hook a carabiner on there which is cool if you wanted to put something on there like your car keys you want to clip them on there real quick or a safety whistle or a little flashlight on a carabiner uh, whatever those will work and the stitching on these is I mean it's really really strong I feel really confident in these that they're not gonna give out you've got a heavy-duty a metal button there. You've also got a really thick sturdy YKK zipper and again really good stitching through the you know zippered area there and just throughout the whole pant in general. You've also got really deep slash pockets in the front. You can see on me the pocket goes all the way down to there on both sides and uh, you've got an awesome feature they have put in here. You can see right there that kind of squared reinforced area. This is like double thickness right here and the reasoning behind that is that you've got that reinforced panel there if you like to carry a large folding knife maybe you've got a flashlight or anything that's on a clip it fits right into that area and it's got kind of a nice space right there that's nice and straight you got that reinforced panel for that clip to go onto so that feels really good it's not pulling down on your pants or anything so it's super cool to see that designed into a pair of pants if you're somebody who likes to carry a knife all the time like me um, you like to carry a flashlight. I mean you can go boom boom both sides knife flashlight and you're all set Moving down the front you've got these really cool cargo pockets that they built into the front of your thighs rather than the sides Which is I think really really practical for when you're outdoors because you don't got that extra material Hanging off the side of your legs that can get caught on stuff um, You don't got that weight kind of hanging to one side if you got something in there It puts everything right here in the front and these two pockets, they both have metal button closures there. You can see there's a flap right there. On the one side, it's just open. You can reach inside there. And the other side, you've actually got a zipper right here. So if you had something you wanted to make sure there's no way it could possibly fall out, zippered side right there. And again, a non-zippered side over here. And you've got a really sturdy loop built in right there too again that you could hang a carabiner off of. You've also got this neat little pocket built in right here. You can see that's just kind of a nice little drop pocket. So if you just wanted to drop something in there real fast, like I was able to put my car keys in there and slide them in there and it's good to go. Now in the back pockets, you can see we have two different styles here. One is an angled flap um, that is just a drop in, no zipper right there. It's got a clasp, metal clasp, and you have a zippered side on this side. And these are both pretty good sized pockets, but very nice again. So you have this pocket if you need to make absolutely certain that something doesn't fall out, you can zip that shut. We can see rather than just a straight cut to the knee, you've got this kind of like articulated stitching built into it. So it sort of has a natural curve, uh, which gives you a little more room in there. And I mean, it makes sense considering most of the time when you're walking, you know, hiking, anything like that, your knee's gonna be at a slight bend. And you can see there is a small opening right there at the base that kind of goes between the layers of fabric in the knee. Um, I believe that's designed so that you can slide like one of those foam knee pad inserts into that. I'm pretty sure I'll try to confirm that and then I'll put a note on the, uh, the video about that. You've also got these really cool zippers on the sides with built-in ventilation. And you've also got the same type of ventilation panel down here that goes from, at least on me, about from your ankle, about a little more than halfway up to my knee. While we're down here, I don't want to forget to tell you guys about this really cool cuff they put down at the bottom. You've got a metal clasp right there. You can see that's adjustable. So if you want it to be more open and breathe, or if you want it to be 
tighter fitting, you're covered right there. And there's also a small metal hook that's built in, you can see right there, which I think, I guess the idea is that it'll hook like onto your boot or onto your boot laces, and it'll keep your pants from getting jerked up. So that's pretty nice as well. So that's definitely a big game changer for me because I think that's going to make these pants a lot more functional over a wider range of weather conditions, especially when you take into account proper layering underneath. Alright guys, so as of right now, I am 100% satisfied with this pair of pants. I think it was well worth what I paid for it. Now as far as price is concerned, uh, here in the US, I've seen these online for anywhere between just over $100 down to $65, uh, depending on the particular color, sizing, whatever. So definitely look around, shop between the big websites, and try to catch them on sale if you can. But even at the current running price here in the US, which seems to be between $70 or $80, unless you go for the multicam version, which is uh, considerably higher, uh, I think they're well worth what you're paying for. At the end of the day, it's kind of one of those things that, you know, you get what you pay for. And of course, I was a little skeptical at first, so I just went ahead and I caught them on sale. I ordered one pair so I could check them out. But now that I've had this pair for a while, as soon as I can, I'm probably going to buy one or maybe two more because I see this as a, an investment. I mean, sure, I'm paying considerably more than I would for a cheap pair of pants, but these are going to be a lot more comfortable, a lot more durable, they're going to last me way longer, and I'm just going to have a better time when I'm out in the woods because I don't have to worry about my pants failing on me. But for what it's worth, in my opinion, this is the best pair of pants I have ever owned. Um, everything from the function to the style to the overall design to all the features, I think it's just it's dead on. Now if you're not a big fan of the two-tone color scheme or maybe you just want pants that'll blend in a little more when you wear them around town, you can get these pants in a variety of different colors, some of which are uh, a different color on the stretch panels like you see here and some of which are matching so just kind of looks like a regular standard pair of pants. But either way guys, I really don't think you can go wrong and I'm sure in the future I'll probably be investing some money into a couple more pairs of these myself. By the way, something else that's really cool I can pass on to any ladies who might be watching. Um, I was actually talking to a friend of mine on Twitter about these pants and she was talking about how much she likes them and I told her unfortunately they didn't have them in women's at this time, just men's. And True Spec actually chimed in to let me know that they had just announced at SHOT Show this year that they're going to be coming out with a women's line of these True Spec pants as well. So I think that would be really nice. I think there's some ladies who might be excited about that, especially since they do have that, you know, little more of a slimmer, kind of flattering uh, cut to them. So very, very cool to hear that. Um, and so if you're an outdoor adventure woman, that might be something that you want to look out for. So as always, thank you guys for watching. If you want to check out these pants for yourself, I'll certainly drop the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, do us a favor and give us a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I encourage you to think about doing it so you can keep seeing more videos like this. Until next time, stay happy and stay outdoors.